I fixed the light. Since Arthur is returning soon, I have a slightly longer story for you, Chicky Peas. This one is very familiar with the famous Silver Bridge collapse. That alone should give a hint to its identity. You guessed it, it's the Mothman! Mothman, Hairbringer of Death. Being a paranormal investigator, it's my responsibility to report as accurately as possible and is as much detail as possible. Any strange occurrence or sighting that happens by way. My colleague Sandy Nicholas wrote to me, After several years of doing this kind of research, I have grown fairly adept at being able to discern small details in photos and videos. I use this same learning ability when doing ghost research, UFO sky watching, or any other research activity. It is in the same vein that I will share an occurrence or sighting that I personally witnessed in July 2005 on the 20th. I will not state emphatically what I witnessed was the actual Mothman creature that terrorized Point Pleasant, West Virginia, but what I did witness had the general overall appearance of the creature as described by others who have sincerely believed they have seen the true Mothman. Here, in Sandy Nicholas's own words, is the report of his strange sighting. The time was around 10.30 p.m. The night sky had intermittent clouds, but I do not remember the fullness of the moon. I was traveling west on Besadena Arno Road in the Thompson's Station country area of Middle Tennessee, about 25 miles south of the Davidson County line of Nashville. My speed was 40 miles an hour through the road is posted for 50. Besadona Arno is a typical country road, curvy and straight, fairly narrow and bordered by some farmland, more so than homes. At the exact spot of my siding, there are three homes set back several hundred yards off the road on a fairly steep grade on the north side of the road. The south side of the road is bordered by a fairly steep slope with a thick hedgerow of mangled brushes and trees, and is offset some twenty feet from the road. There were no other vehicles on the road, and my headlights were on full brightness. I first noticed the creature as I rounded a curve and continued on to a short straight ray with a slight rise in elevation. My estimated distance from the creature was 300 feet, and I immediately began to slow my car. The creature is standing a foot or two off the side of the road on the south side, and back of him was the back side of a 7.5 foot tall road sign. The sign was attached to a graded metal pole, and the sign itself was triangular and 3.5 feet in width from point to point, and attached some 3.5 feet up the pole from the ground. The top of the creature's head was several inches above the sign, though his face through his feet were on the ground. This would have put the creature nearly 8 feet tall. The creature's body was covering about one-fifth the triangle shine. The head of the creature was human shape, but with a peculiar strangler appearance as well. The head seemed a tad bit too large for the rest of the body. The neck was normal in appearance and attached to narrow shoulders. The chest appearance was normal, though narrower than one would have imagined. The chest area tapered down to a very thin-looking waist. The legs of the creature were long and slender, almost skinny, especially the thigh area extending down to the knees. Both arms were long and thin and connected to hands with long, slender fingers. Four or five, I'm not sure. The face of the creature was shrouded in a shadow-like appearance. I could discern no facial features. The creature's arm were outstretched and attached to the wrists of both arms and was dark webbing that extended downwards and attached to the knee, and also to the torso of the body directly at the underarm, and extending downward to the knees. The webbing was solid in the structure with a slight tapering that came to a point midway to the knees, and then continued to taper as above to the knees, from shoulder to shoulders, down to the feet, with the exception of arms and webbings. The color of the creature was a bright, reflective red. The color reminded me of paintings that depicted the devil with the ever-present pitchfork, though I had absolutely no feeling that this creature was either the devil 
any other demon. My gut feeling told me that this was some sort of unknown species that modern day science insists does not exist. The duration of my sighting was a brightly illuminated seven to eight seconds. At one point as I passed the creature, he was not more than seven feet from the open window of my car. Never once did the creature move or make any type of hostile gesture towards me. I managed to bring my car to a full stop some hundred yards from the creature. I immediately turned my car around in the middle of the road in hopes of seeing the creature again, but it was for naught. Being a researcher intended on being accurate, I decided to retract my path several times in an attempt to dismay any status quo explanation for what I had witnessed. I've traveled down this road numerous times a day and night, and I've never once mistaken a tree limb, brush, road signs, or the rarity of nighttime walkers for a creature such as I witnessed. A rather tall and thick hedge grown on the south side of the road, and the distance from the road to the nearest house on the north side, precludes any attempt by someone playing a practical joke. The distance to run and hide in a matter of just a few seconds would have been impossible. The road sign is a typical road sign, and there was no mistaking that a very tall creature with a slender body and wings was obscuring part of the sign. There was no bright color hindrance reflecting from the headlights of my car to skew my vision since the creature was standing on the back side of the road, the dark side. My conclusion then was simple to deduce. I had seen this creature in all of its details I've just shared. Was the strange being that I witnessed on July 20th, 2005, the same Mothman creature of West Virginia fame? I do not know. Have any disasters happened near Nashville, as was the bias basis for the book and the movie, The Mothman Prophecies? Not to my knowledge. As with many other paranormal things I have investigated that cannot be quickly explained, it may be a wait and see attitude that takes much patience before the final answer reveals itself. It's evident that America has its fair share of monsters looking about. I hope to read to you, sweeties, again. Sleep peacefully.